Watch the entire video my lovely viewers, I mean from start to finish, to get the whole thing. Without wasting much of your time, let's get right into it. Hi lovely viewers, it's me again, your one and only Mtati Mpundu. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time on my channel, kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel by hitting the red subscribe button down below and turn the bell icon to join the notification squad. Don't forget to like, share and leave a comment. Tell me what you think about this video in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you lovely viewers. To listen to you, Your Excellency, as you add your voice, to this matter of national uh, the patriotic front vice president the patriotic front secretary general all members of the central committee present here opf and independent members of parliament present here countrymen and women members of the press the media generally Ladies and gentlemen, uh, allow me to first start by keeping in prayer our former national soccer team, the young man Justin Shonga, who recently passed away and was put to rest, or is being put to rest today. I'm not too sure, but I know he passed on. Condolences to the football family, the national team, and indeed the Football Association of Zambia. May he so rest. Allow me also, on a joyous occasion, to congratulate Sakia Sama for winning elections in Great Britain today is becoming the new Prime Minister of Britain at the helm of the Labour Party that ruled 14 years ago. Congratulations are also in order to Rish Sumak who has graciously And indeed, is in the process of handing over power. Ladies and gentlemen, fellow Zambians, we are a proud sovereign state that is governed by a written constitution since independence. This has been the case for the past 60 years. Zambians have consistently fought to establish and entrench democratic rule and good governance by amending and strengthening their constitution from time to time. In 2016, I was your president of the Republic and I approved comprehensive reforms to our constitution, which we all celebrate today and many in the region admire. Out of the seven presidents, everyone knows that progressive constitutional reforms will forever be my political hallmark and leadership legacy. Therefore, as long as I'm alive, I will not abrogate my national duty to defend and protect our cherished democratic republican constitution. Moreover, there is no man or woman in Zambia or abroad who is bigger or above our republican constitution. Under our supreme national law, our democratic rule is anchored on the principle of separation of powers with the four very clear fundamental objectives and functions these four pillars of separation of powers are one, to set limits on the work 
of the judiciary, the legislature, and the executive, so that each of the three operates within their own autonomous space and respective jurisdiction. Number two, to ensure that there is no overlap in the powers and functions of these three different arms of government at any given point. Number three, to provide checks and balances on each other in order to guarantee the rule of law, accountability, transparency, and consolidation of democratic principles. Number four, to prevent abuses of power by any of the three arms of government and thereby protecting sovereignty, citizens' rights, national security, and peaceful coexistence. For the past three years, since President Hakainde Hichilema came into power, we have seen a structured and coordinated campaign to undermine and erode the principles of separation of powers. Most stakeholders have factual stories of gross interference by the executive into the judiciary and legislature. On Wednesday, we saw our parliament making history by expelling nine patriotic front members of parliament. As former president, I can tell you that this gesture is the highest level of political brutality and unacceptable barbarism. Today, I join millions of Zambians to mourn the death of the principle of separation of powers in our country. The moment any of the three wings of government, that is the legislature, the judiciary and the executive, accept to be arbitrarily abused or overthrown by the other, then citizens must declare a national mourning for the funeral of the separation of powers. As everyone is aware, I was president for the Republic between 2015 to 2021. There was no time, no time whatsoever, that I called or made the Speaker of the National Assembly to instruct him, impose or arm twist him, because we in PF respected the principle of separation of powers. You can ask our former Speaker, Dr. Patrick Mativini, State Council. He's still alive today. Unfortunately, this type of respect for separation of powers we practice under the Patriotic Front and the previous ruling parties has been washed away by this UPND government. Yes. Yes. From the time Isaka and Hichilema took over the reins of power, we have seen the integrity of parliament being undermined and eroded with political impunity. The respected office of speaker has been abused to rubber stamp or endorse oppressive political actions against those perceived to be opponents of the ruling party or to be seen going against the will of the executive. This has been done with impunity. Ladies and gentlemen, if Zambia will not stand up to oppose and reject the illegal, immoral, and unconstitutional expulsion of the nine patriotic front members of parliament, then our citizens would have approved the brutal assassination of separation of power by the UPND government. Our media friends here can ask former Deputy Chief Justice, Mr. Mavid Mwanamamwa, 
including current Chief Deputy Chief Justice, Mr. Michael Msonda, who are both alive, who have served at the top of the judiciary. Whether or when I was in State House, we ever interfered with the courts of law in this country. We never interfered or gave instructions to the judges. No. Never at all. No. 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 Respect for the rule of law and separation of power was very, very important to us in PF, especially during the time that I occupied the high seat of president. So for our affected MPs, I feel your pain and I feel your anguish because you are democratically elected to save your people and Zambians. I wish to promise here and commit myself to fight with you. Yes. Yes. We will do everything possible, yes. both politically and legally, to ensure that dictatorship does not take root in our country yes. over democracy. And I also wish to point out here that as far as the law and democracy is concerned, you are still our MPs. Yes. And you have gone back to parliament in the name and spirit of the rule of law and democracy. Yes. Those of you who have had time to look at that, Article 72 of the Constitution will bear me witness that uh, it's not easy under our Constitution to dismiss a member of parliament in the manner done. So those at ECZ who are acting with impunity should know that Zambia is a country of laws and we're going to fight using those laws. Ladies and gentlemen, you may know that in every sector there are good and bad seeds. As such, we sympathize with some of our independent and professional judges who are doing everything possible to professionally and independently Save the Zambian people. To these, ladies and gentlemen, I take my heart. I know we have some sound and credible judges who still defend justice and fairness for our people. To them, I want to promise you that a better Zambia is coming. Yes. Yes. Where you once more, you once more work independently and freely. In the future, not too long from now, 2026 at the latest, we promise to restore rule of law as well as separation of powers. Yeah. With our existence in government and a bigger and better team before us, we shall reverse this dangerous political trend set by the UPND government. As I said in Kitwe, I'm back and back in a better way. Yeah. I have been tried and tested, and I've passed the test. And I strongly believe that you can now trust me more for national leadership. Our future government will be inclusive, as you have seen from our Uka family. Our future government will embrace everyone across Zambia to voluntarily join hands now and in future. So let's join hands now to fight and defeat and democratically crush this emerging dictatorship called UPND government. If we don't do that, we'll be crushed, all of us. We pray to God that sooner or later, Zambians shall have an inclusive government, a government that hates tribalism, in true sense of the word, a government that detests tribalism, a government that detests nepotism, a government that detests regionalism, and the, through our inclusive collision alliances. Remember, when I came back on the 28th of October, I made this clarion call, and I want to repeat that uh, we are going to embrace all those who are opposed to the injustice 
that is being perpetrated by the UPND government led by Mr. Hakainde Chidema. And as a political father for all Zambians, I'm ready to engage and embrace anyone who erred or went astray to come back to PF. Mm. Mm. PF is a bigger family. And Mr. Sata left it in my hands, and I'll leave it in the hands of those who are willing to embrace all of us. Mm. When the time comes, may God bless you all, and I thank you. This is DJ Mutati exclusive. Alright, that's all for you today, lovely viewers. If you did enjoy the video, please don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section below. Tell me what you think about the video you just watched in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you, lovely viewers. Once again, I go by the name of Mutatim Pondum. I love you, peace. I gotta go.